is going down everyone today i freshly installed my playstation 5 software once it completely successful and the ui installing it looked pretty cool my name is mac here at the macgyver 7 channel today we'll be covering the brand new update the 22.01-05 if you're brand new to the network hit the subscription button and accompany it with a notification bell and we're going to go ahead and scroll into the gaming news as sony has definitely given us a lot to digest Hot off the press, as we can see over here, for as far as what we can definitely digest. The base is what has gotten into the update, is what they have shown with some areas of accessibility. But what we're going to cover right here is the party chat has definitely got a lot of extensions. Now you can have three categories of friend parties and messages. You can basically have your closed parties and invite friends to have to those closed parties and join those groups. You can also have independent controls for the volumes. The control base for as far as the menu cards now have more of expansion and the utilization of where share play can. And now you can have a little bit more friendly UI experience when being inside of these party chats. You can also for as far as sharing the screen very easily through those and you have the situation for as far as players and the features um, and the request inside of friends and decline for as far as the experience of having a little bit better organization when it comes down to file and managing this on a system and the accessibility uh, they have had the following for as far as where the radar um, would read and the screen is supporting the six additional languages on top of that, for as far as where you can see that the headphones also got a big update for sound. As you can see, a little bit more of a flow chart. You can see right over here. As it extends off into where they've upgraded also the trophy ticker inside of there. So they're showing you the flow charts if you want to take some uh, cool choices inside of utilizing your system the way you want. You definitely have them. Inside of the game trophy, where you can see the visual design of the trophies, and the list has been updated and now you can suggest uh, which trophy has been earned in tracker for as far as the game you've been played a little more customized situations for you to be able to have features also come down to the create a menu we have updated the following you can now share the screen with inside of the open parties as well as where you can see the voice commands inside of the previews, the voice command previews inside of the app, inside of the controller media, where you can start the setting the voice commands, enable that and preview, then call, hey, PlayStation, or ask your PS5 to do something. Um, so they're giving a little bit more successful. So it's like when you have that accessibility, you can see that maybe it's like kind of like, hey, Google, or, you know, like, hey, Siri, and I'm sorry if I just made your phone do something, and if so, look up something really cool. I don't know what the hell it's going to show. It might just show, like, Antarctica. And if it did, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear the breeze that that blows in in a comment. On top of that, and that chill action, we can see that you can have a feature for as far as the find an open game and app in the setting inside of the media without touching the button having more accessibility and being able to have hands-free. On top of that, for as far as the voice command, and it is only available in English um, for the players within the PSN account in the US and the UK. Uh, so they will be expanding that hopefully as they added more languages over there in the very beginning. We've also added Ukraine's um, language, which is pretty cool because now everyone can game in the world. Everyone should game, regardless of where you're at. It's, it's cool. On top of that, for as far as other features, there's a ton of other features, by the way. Yeah, tons. We can see that they have made some improvements in the library. On top of that, for as far as the collections and the tabs, where you can filter out those for a quick play. You have the pin PlayStation Plus on the left home screen. You can redeem monthly games more quickly. I like that. It's very useful. Get the easy access to the PlayStation Plus game collections from the home screen. On top of that, for as far as where you can see that the button shows in the reload and the zoom in the, or their browser. Yes, on top of the reports that someone in a party said there was no visual indicator for you to identify who's speaking. Which is very true to a certain extent, but it would be kind of cool if it had some independent tags. Which would help Sophie try to track the appropriate actions and reporting. Um... You know, in the situation where it, they definitely did kind of like just have that whole, um, I guess, auditorial, I guess, log point. But I, I mean, 
it's gaming and I feel like there should be some kind of decentralization to that but also have a very fair point and, and have a nice playground for everyone to play we should all be nice to each other and have fun in a game it's awesome but moving on we're not here talking game politics we're moving past that with an update we have this situation for as far as where you can see that the consoles are a little bit more safer for the accounts of the the young generation getting into gaming on top of that for as far as where they very well announced that and uh, having the purchase and install the game they have restricted for players the background images games have hidden so sometimes the, if you go to another place you can't it's restricted it'll just hide active for as far as the cards you can see that there's the age restriction on top of that for the home screen and the focus apps inside the button and the keep in home again tons of stuff where they're just adding it i haven't seen them add this much since the last bigger update so like this is why this video is probably going to push on to about seven minutes so i'm not going to try to make it any longer past that you can keep up to maximum of five games in the apps on the home screen which is pretty cool hopefully it continues to update in the background because that's one issue that i have found is even when it's in the library you have to go click it and then update it on playstation 5 only playstation 4 natively will do that sometimes it depends um, you can also now have the uh, three games inside of the app appear on the home screen. You can change the appearance inside of the guide into if you old appearance you find to be a little bit more fancy. You can change it back and forth. You can toggle, which is pretty cool. Uh, on top of that, they now support more emojis, so you can you know just write to your heart's content and you know the uh, point of emoji language, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also have the portion of updated. In, in the dual sensor controller inside of the optimization of their hardware and the software so make sure that it is installed it will do its own install onto the controller so if you haven't had it you know always plug your other controllers into it will automatically do it it's very cool for as far as this generation of um, physical awesomeness and I'll show you what I mean because like I already installed my system and I've always wanted to showcase this once you do you do this you just basically hit install my controller which is really interesting that you have software on your lovely controller say hi controller you're updating um, and you can check out my video about um, the type um, of USBs that you want to utilize uh, type C is personally my favorite um, type C to type C which actually is in the front plate of the PlayStation 5 um, I utilize it it has the less lag of all three versus other things um, and it keeps it completely powered. You never have any like downtime, which is the biggest issue. Cause like, you know, you can have a really good Bluetooth connection, but the minute you hit like trying to a bad material or something that you can't get around and, and your signal's gone and then you're on the shitty end of a gameplay sometimes. Uh, but moving on past that, that is our patch. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've installed. We've basically seen the brand new plethora of freaking information that Sony just kind of killed it with. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate it for as far as the, what they will have um, in the near future. Hopefully it's going to be performance because that's what I will leave you with. The juicy details at the very end for sticking around and the hypothesis of this video getting a little too long is that I'm pretty sure since our DNA definitely got its booster with the brand new Adrenaline software and the Fidelity software getting a tuning portion of getting its Super Saiyan kind of boost, we are going to see probably the PlayStation 5 and Xbox since they both rock the RDNA 2 technology inside of that little box of AMD loveliness, which is very funny. You're just playing to have some other people tune it kind of like you know differently than another person and then they use software updates like what they can take with fidelity and then rewrite it on the software and utilize it well just dream about that think about that the next update could be pure performance and they really mean it like awesomeness it's like that one nvidia update where you know i don't know where it's like boom you were hiding that from us holy crap i had to buy a new freaking gpu i could have just literally just waited for an update that's yeah, the crappiness of sometimes with software you just gotta wait, stay tuned, and find out what's gonna happen next. I will see you guys and gals in the near future. Sorry for the long video, but this was definitely a long update. Have a nice day, everyone, and I will see you guys and gals in the near future for more Sony-related content. And check out the videos above. There's some cool stuff that you should definitely check out.